Hey guys, um, I just wanted to shoot a quick little low res video. That I'm getting a lot of questions on how to reset these power walls. They're getting a little over overused and it's been off grid. I don't think the, the power is gonna be uh, on anytime soon on the west side right now. So we wanna make sure, first and foremost, you, you gotta manage that bucket, get all the loads as low as possible. Turn yep. off those ACs, turn off those pool pumps, any of those heavy lifting loads. If you got multiple fridges, try and consolidate um, as best as possible. Um, th there's moving, moving your loads down to essential loads yes. that are absolutely critical to surviving long term. Okay, so we got a couple calls now that we've got dead batteries from over overuse. Now how we reset them? There's there's trouble going through it. So we wanted to kind of give you a, a really simple or the, not simple, but the easiest way we can kind of walk through it through the the tech process. So um, go with it, Matt. Yep. So the best thing that we can do and advise every customer to do, uh, first thing is going to be identifying the breaker panel within your home. Once that breaker panel is uh, located, you're going to go through that entire panel and turn every single thing off during the time of trying to restart the power wall. Keyword there, everything. So we've everything. Got, we've kind of done it. So, so all try. the breakers to off. Once that is achieved, at that point, you can locate your Tesla Powerwall batteries. At that point, you're gonna to go to them, and on the right-hand side, no matter how many batteries you have, you're gonna to go to one of them, and you're going to identify that the green light is solid on the side. And at that point, you can toggle the switch that is on the right-hand side to off, count one, two, and turn that back on. At that point, you should hear internal clicks of the Tesla Powerwall that will identify that it is starting to grid form and produce electricity out of the battery, which will in turn reach your solar equipment and your equipment will go through a five minute interconnection quality power analyzing to assure that that power is correct before the solar production will start to produce again. At that time, about five, five minutes after the toggling, your solar inverter should start to produce energy um, and then key, that key time, concept there. I'm sorry. I'm yes, interrupt. it should. This is while the sun's shining and there's yes. sun on the panels. We can't do this at nighttime. So. Correct. So at that point, that would allow the solar equipment to energize and start to produce power and where that power can be restored back into the battery. After that is successful, after a couple hours, then you can start to reintroduce your absolutely critical necessity loads that you need to survive long term. Okay. Um, definitely advise, you know, keeping anything like dishwashers, dryers, washing equipment, ACs, heaters, car chargers, microwaves, any of those types of heavy load items out of the equation until you are sure that you have sufficient amount of charge in your battery. Okay. Um, let's try and walk through the simplest, uh, if so the internet's down and so if we can connect via and if the internet is down anybody that is trying to look on their system through the tesla mobile app is going to see that they have no internet connection um, there is a local way to access your tesla if it is up and producing and alive they're at the gateway which looks like a smaller version excuse me of the tesla power wall Older generations were a gray box with little black antennas on top. Um, that unit will be broadcasting a Wi-Fi um, and will end with the last three digits of your gateway serial number. If that is visible, there is a way for you to physically connect to that Wi-Fi. Inside the gateway cover will be the password, which is usually the gateway serial number. And it is all capital letters and starts with a capital S. And at that point, you can connect to the Tesla gateway and then go over to your Safari browser. At that point, you can type in an IP address of 192 period, 168 period, 91 period, one. You hit enter and go. That will bring up the live kiosk view of your Tesla Powerwall. You will have to log in with your customer password. At that point, you will be able to see the power flow from your solar panels and the state of energy within the battery that is still retained. So it'll look just like what the app did, but on a browser view. Yes, you will have a local kiosk view, which is here, and here we are. We and can I'll disperse put, this document and link with it Yeah, as I'll well. put a link into the comments down on the screen right now. And so. in here, you will see a live kiosk power flow of what is happening on the site. Your phone will display no internet connection while you are connected to the Tesla gateway. That is okay and normal. 
So don't be concerned, just proceed with going over to Safari and entering that IP address to load up that display. And can you do this on your phone? Like, so if you go on this the airplane- can be, It should be done from a phone, that way you can be close to your gateway for yeah. that connection. Yeah, so go into airplane mode. And this all can be achieved by typing in uh, Tesla internet connection, Tesla Powerwall internet connection down. It should bring up the first document of connecting to Tesla Gateway and Powerwall Plus. Gotcha. Okay. With specific steps to take and identify which gateway you do have on site. And from there, you'll be able to see what your state of energy is within the battery. Okay, cool. Thank you. I'm just trying to get this out as low analog. We've sent it. And right now on Maui, the uh, internet, this communications are at all time low. And so it's just, yeah. so I'm putting this out to the social channels, the YouTube channels. Um, Screenshot and record if you have people that can share this. Um, get to people if they have power walls um, that need resetting or are having issues with it. Obviously, I'm kind of going through all my clients and fleet right now. Um, but thank you, Matt. Yep. Uh, and the best thing to practice is just living as frugal as absolutely possible because we do not know how long this is going to last. Yeah, and you don't know what the weather is going to do the next day as well. Exactly. So um, you're you're at the mercy of charging those batteries with the sun the next day. So. Thank you, mate. Stay safe. All right, so this is what we're gonna do is I need you guys to, if I'm not gonna turn this off, but I'm at my friend's house that has a system. Um, every one of these needs to be turned off, your main load. So every one needs to go off, switch, switch, switch. So there has to be no loads on the house to do a reset. Um, the only breaker panels that you're gonna have on are gonna be your solar, solar breakers. If there's one in there, but this one for this exercise, this is the main panel of the house. These need to be all off if I was gonna do a reset. Click, 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 click. So all the loads are off and we check if the green light's going, if you can see the green light right there. Um, and then you'd toggle this off to on off. You would hear the restart going. You can see the on off button right here. You'd hear it click, click, and you'd have to wait five, 10, maybe 20 minutes, but it should go pretty quickly to start the reset but this is where the reset button is. Okay, now we're out here. So these are what would be left on. The only ones you want to leave on are this one, this one, this one, this one. So if you see that in your breaker panel, this is called your backup loads panel. This is what backs up and this one goes to the thing. Um, breaker, this gets left on. These ones get left on, so there's no loads. This gets left on. This is your disconnect, this gets left on. This is the gateway. This is where the it has a Wi-Fi signal and then you can open up with your browser that we're talking about. So gateway. 